Hello, fish tank people. Uh, discuss lovers. Uh, thanks for coming in again for a, a new video. And this video is all about uh, treating the discus tank with uh, potassium permanganate. So potassium permanganate, permanganate is an oxidizing agent uh, that's used in the aquaculture for some time now. So this is kind of a, a burdening, it's called the burden up organic uh, material. So what it means is any bacteria, anything undesirable, uh, parasites, bacteria, fungus, uh, which will go into the, the gill tissue and the mucus, uh, it kind of gets rid of it. Uh, so the color, when you put it, it will be dark purple, uh, with the, which, is, which is when you, we put it in the water, it turns to be a pinkish purple color. Uh, so it's, the process is when it actually kind of starts deactivating, which is, which is kind of the, the power of the medicine is kind of going down. The tan colors from purple, it will start to turn a little dark brown and then brown and then it will be clear. So generally, there is uh, one thing that happens in the tank, if you see all those things floating around, those white worms kind of a thing, those are planaria, that they are in your filters, and pretty much they don't like this. They kind of come out, uh, they cannot, cannot sustain that oxidation. Uh, so one, once they come out and they're not, uh, you know, they're not, liking this fact about oxidizing, oxidizing it will kind of uh, kill them. Uh, so those, those planaria, the worms, it's kind of, it goes and sticks, stuck onto the discus skin and uh, you know, they could create some damage. So generally when you do this, you will see that kind of the planaria is, it's, you know, it's, it comes out and it, it's one good thing to kind of uh, see in the aquarium that all those organisms are, are killed which are not likely to your aquarium. So, you need to take caution when you treat your uh, tank with this uh, chemical. Uh, the reason I say that is discus are uh, a little sensitive to, to the medication or to the chemicals. So what they do is they kind of start acting a little strange and that's where you need to keep a very close eye. One word of caution, do not put this in the tank and go away and thinking that it you know, uh, you have everything going. You need to be there until this treatment is working and the discus is not in full shock because it can create damage if you, if you put more uh, of the chemical into it. So generally I use, mine a 125 gallon tank, so I do like a 1.5 milligrams per liter or even less than that. So I don't do that full dosage what they uh, do for what they suggest out there, like the two mg per liter. I just do the, the shorter version of it. So you need to watch your discus uh, pretty closely. Uh, you know, right now they are in shock. You can see that they go and stand in that corner or you know, they, are, they are kind of not, they're kind of breathing heavy. You can see the gills kind of flat, uh, flapping faster. So it's just because it's trying to get oxygen. Uh, so that's why you need those air bubblers to be going in the tank. So that's, that's important, that's very important because once you see the discus kind of lying on completely on the side, it's kind of like it's having a lot of issues breathing, you have to immediately see in the water. Uh, because putting it there and keeping it there for a long time can actually even kill them. So that's uh, another uh, words of wisdom uh, that I would like to say. Uh, or give, uh, since I have I have done that mistake, and it has not costed me, uh, you know, in the, the the death of the discus, but it has kind of made me very anxious, you know, what is going to happen. So immediately I have changed the water, and it has come back to normal. So, so that's pretty much it uh, from how you treat your discus tank with potassium permanganate. Uh, any questions? or comments, uh, you can leave it down. Uh, also like and subscribe. Um, I will see you in the next video. Thank you guys, bye.